Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Taryn and today we're going to be doing a video that's like a little different than anything I've ever done on my channel. So I have a Cricut and I really enjoy um, crafting and doing stuff on my Cricut. So excuse the mess in this room. I'm kind of literally working in a closet. So this is like the closet door and I have a table set up inside the closet so that when there's like company and stuff here I can shut this door and they can use that bed however I have the bed packed full of crap as well because um it's been crazy and I've been trying to get stuff done so I've kind of used the bed as just like a table so either way I'm going to show you guys today how I made my graduation cap so I'm in the process of making my graduation cap for my college graduation um it's on Saturday and today's Tuesday so I have a couple days and I will be graduated so I wanted to walk through my steps here with you guys so um okay so here's my graduation cap now it's just a plain black cap as you can tell um but my idea is to make it, so my school colors are yellow and black. And so I'm going to stick with those school colors. Um, and my favorite flower just happens to be a sunflower. So I'm going to go with the sunflower type theme and try to make something very cute. So right now, what I have done so far is, I'm going to pause and put you, flip you So far is I cut out, this is just a piece of glitter cardstock. And I measured my graduation cap and then I made this hole just a little bit smaller than what it would need to be because I don't want it to show. But I want there to still be a hole there so I can um, have the, the cap's button go through there. So it's a nine and a half by nine and a half, I believe. And I just cut that out on my Cricut. So I put my cardstock on my mat and fed it through um, and cut out the same size as my graduation cap with the little buttonhole. So I've done that and I actually haven't set it on here to measure. And it actually seems like it's gonna be a little big. I can't tell, it's hard to tell. I don't know, it might work, it might be fine. Hopefully it's fine. And so I'm going to like measure it up here. Yeah, it looks like it'll, it'll be okay. And so what I've seen other people do is they actually pop this button off and I'm a little bit scared to do that. So I don't know if I'm going to attempt to do that or not. Um, and they usually just like super glue it back on. Oh, my hands are glittery. Um, but they super glue the button back on after they take it off. So that's an option. I just am afraid I'm going to break it if I do that. But um, that might be my only option. And then right now, for my words on it, I think I'm going to put nevertheless she persisted on my cap. And this is, um, this means something to me only because um, I guess I'm not as a traditional student as a lot of people. I had a baby mid-semester last year and... Um, I've never taken a semester off. I've just continued through school and, um, have been pushing to get done to, you know, complete my education. And that's something that matters a lot to me. So I wanted to do this saying because I feel like that just kind of incorporates all of that. Nevertheless, never, no matter what have has come in my way or no matter what has tried to get in the way of me finishing, I've persisted and, finished. So that's kind of why I wanted to use this saying. Um, and what I'm going to do with some of these sunflowers is I'm going to attempt to make a flower crown to go around the bottom piece right here. When it's on my head, it'll be like a crown over this black piece. And then I'm also going to use some of these sunflowers to go on the top with the words. So Let's see how this uploaded turned out. a PNG file of my design. So I designed it in InDesign and I uploaded that PNG to my design space. And then I just clicked out the areas I do not want to be there. And now it's trying to download my cut file. And after that downloads a little bit, I will save it and size it to what I want on my cap. So loaded it into design space and this box is the size of my square that I need for my grad cap so it's the same size as this piece right here so I'm going to size these words to what I want on the cap and I think I'm going to 
actually break them apart. So um, they're welded together right now because I made them in one single file. But if I draw a square right here and I pull that square over that word, and I'm actually gonna hide my big square and then draw over both so that they're all highlighted and hit slice at the bottom then I'm gonna have two different pieces so I can move them freely as I wish. Um, so I'm actually gonna bring this one back now and I'm going to rotate this, if I can get it to do it for me. So I'm gonna pull this out here so I can see the top and bottom better. I'm also trying to decide if I want to put my name or any other like things like that on here. Like my name or the year or This is so hard to get even. What do you guys think? Do you think that that looks like it's straight? And then my little hole will be out here in the middle. Um, I might make these even smaller because I want to be able to kind of have flowers go around them. <clears throat> and I don't want them to like not show the words enough. So if I make them a decent amount smaller or I could, <clears throat> sorry, excuse me, put the words together and then put like something else down here. I don't know. I'm a bad decision maker when it comes to this stuff. I think those might be small enough now because then if I want to put one like, you know, put one to one side a little bit more and one to the other, then I can have flowers around here. But I also don't want them too small because I want you to be able to read it. So I'm actually going to hide the square and make it. So now it's going to actually put them right here to save space. It puts them directly like as close as they can be together to each other and I like that so now I'm going to load my mat with some black vinyl and honestly I'm a little worried about this black vinyl because I don't know I just feel like it doesn't work that well so hopefully I don't have an issue with it So I'm going to load it on there and try to get it to stick down. My mat is not very sticky anymore. So most of the time I have to use some tape on the edges. And I hate this. Um, if you guys do your like Cricut stuff, let me know how often you have to replace your mats. Because I feel like I've only had my Cricut for a couple months. And this is already like my third, second or third mat that I've gone through. And I'm like, I've been ready to replace it for a long time. But I'm trying to make it last a little longer so I don't go through them so fast. So I just taped it down a little bit and I'm going to load it into my machine. So slide it under there and wheel it back up into the machine. 
So then on here, I'm going to, I have it on um, custom right now so that I don't accidentally cut with the wrong thing. So I'm just going to put vinyl and it's just, let's see. I guess it's just premium vinyl. There's nothing crazy about it. I'm a little bit worried that it might not stick since I have that glitter. <clears throat> but well, we will find out, I guess. So I'm going to come through here. I didn't need to mirror my image since I'm just using regular sticky vinyl. I'm not using iron-on. And it will cut out what we designed. So it cut it out. Um, and I'm a little bit worried about this little spot right here because I think it's going to make my end look weird. I don't know why it did that, whether the vinyl got off just a little bit and it accidentally cut the wrong spot or what. The rest of it looks pretty good. There might be a little spot right there on the L, but otherwise I think it looks okay. I'm going to weed it and see kind of what I think after I weed it. Okay, now I'm going to try to decide, does that end look weird? I don't know. I mean, it's looking like the font looks like that strokey look where it looks like it's supposed to kind of be, like, looks like it was painted on. But, I can't tell. I might actually just try to go in with my X-Acto knife and just make it, like, a little bit more straight. So it doesn't look like it just like fell off. Like the type didn't just fall right off. I might have just made it worse. I don't know. I might cut the nevertheless out again. I want this to look good so I can keep the she persisted. That one looks fine. However, I might recut this, but I probably will keep it just in case there's something else I want to use it for at one point. And I don't really mind if it's a little bit off. Um, 
So I'm gonna actually just load that vinyl back on. Sorry, uh, load this back on here and turn that off and load it here. Does anyone else save like all their tiny little bits and pieces of vinyl? Like I'm really stingy with my vinyl and I keep everything, all the pieces because you never know when you're going to need like a little dot for your eye or your little, a little tiny symbol goodness a symbol or something and so I keep all of my little tiny pieces and just keep them stored somewhere so that if I ever need a little piece for something no matter what it is I can just go in and gosh go in and just grab one and cut out my little tiny thing so that is one of my little tips for the day and I'm cutting the nevertheless right now. So after that, um, I'm gonna have to find out if the vinyl will stick to this. If not, um, my next thought is to use some hot glue possibly and just hot glue the letters on. I don't know. If I'm gonna do hot glue, then it wouldn't make sense to even use this. It would make more sense to just use like construction paper or um, con uh, what is this called? Uh, poster no not poster board cardstock sorry cardstock so if I was going to do that it would make more sense to just use a black cardstock and stick the letters on with glue um I will see how this works and if it would be better to do, do the cardstock I might have to try it I don't even know if I have any black cardstock though so I might have to get some and that would be annoying so I'm going to try to make the vinyl work I think we just made it. I didn't realize I was pushing it that close, but I think we're okay. But it, I think it did the same thing with the N again, so I might have to live with it because you see. It did the same thing again. So it's probably the font. And I'm probably going to have to live with it. So. Because I don't think I'm going to cut it again and waste any more vinyl. Which honestly. Something that small people probably won't notice, but I wanted it to look well put together. I have done a graduation cap for all three of my graduations now, and this is the first time I've had a Cricut to do it. So the last time was for my associate's degree, and my school colors were blue and red, so I made a graduation cap that said, oh snap, since I'm a photographer, it said, oh snap. And then right in the middle where the button is was a camera and the button was like the hole, the shutter of the camera. So I thought that one turned out really cute. And then I used um, red letters. I used just like stickers that had letters on them. And I made the words with that. And then I used red diamonds and kind of spread them out all over it and put like a little red bow on it. And it was cute. Um, and then for high school, my colors were black, white, and silver. So I did a black cap. I just left my cap black. And then I put like a silver ribbon, um, around, not even around the outside, but kind of like down the side in the middle, not directly, but like on the side right here. And then I might've put one this way. I can't remember. And then I put my name in silver letters and I put silver diamonds around the outside, I think. And it was okay. It was pretty cute too. Um, but I just did my name that time. Yep. It looks like I'm just going to have to live with that cut. So I guess the next thing is to set them on here and kind of see where I'm going to want them. So if I just 
wanted to center them. Or I might put one, I don't know. I'm going to play with it for a minute and then I'll let you know when I um, put them down. So I have nevertheless on here, um, the black is on this side, this is the sticky side, and I'm going to attempt to set it down on here. So this stuff, this kind of part stresses me out. This is probably like the most intense spot for me for like, or I guess part of doing this for me because it's like, I don't want to mess it up. But let's see. I also thought about possibly trying to use a spray adhesive to like spray over it to like seal everything or a sealant or something. Doesn't feel like it's gonna stick. Stick, letter, stick, stick, letter, stick. I'm honestly not even sure where my glue, hot glue gun is at the moment, so if I need to use it, I'm gonna have to go dig it out somewhere. I think if they do stick, they're going to be falling off. So, yeah, it peeled right back up with the paper, which is kind of what I thought was going to happen. Let me see if I can find my glue gun, and I'm going to attempt to do that. So I found my hot glue gun, and it's heating up, but it has, like, a very tiny little amount of glue in there. And I don't know if I have another glue stick. So, <clears throat> I'm going to try to use the bare minimum. But I'm going to have to use this to glue my button back on and my flowers on. So I'm going to need more glue at some point. I'm not sure if the local, we have a Dollar General in our town. It might, there might be a chance that they have glue sticks. So I might have to check tonight to see if I can find some more. Now the problem I'm running into is that I don't think I can glue it and lay it fast enough for the glue to not dry. So I don't know what else to try. Because I have a glue stick, but I don't think that's going to stay on the glitter either. So my next hmm. thought is I do have glitter sparkly vinyl. It would be HTV, so heat transfer vinyl. And I could possibly cut out the same thing and iron it on. I know you have to be very careful when you iron right on to the cap though. But I might be able to try that. 
an iron and it would just be yellow words on a black background and then the yellow sunflowers which the sunflowers might pop better on that as well so i might actually try that and see how it goes so this is the yellow sparkly that i have and i'm going to get it set up on my mat and i'm going to attempt this so when it's htv you have to do it backwards so flip it um upside down and do the white side or the some some htv has it's not a white side it's a like the same color but it's more rubbery kind of the kind that the part that you can peel up so if you're ever unsure which side needs to be up with htv you just need to um maybe stick your weeding tool into it and if you can like peel up the very corner um, then that's the side that needs to go up. If it's more like the plastic, then that needs to be down. But obviously, you know that if you're used to doing your Cricut stuff. So that that's kind of a tip for beginners. Sorry, which, I can't search the web on Apple. Oops. So I'm I'm really still a beginner. If you would like to consider me that, I uh was waiting to get a Cricut for years. So I wanted a Cricut for years and years and years, and I wasn't able to get one for the longest time. And I happened to be in like some Cricut groups as well as like some planner groups. So I think if you've watched my channel for a while, you know I do some planning videos. And my planning videos um, are kind of where I started. So I made a channel to kind of start a planning channel. And then I ended up getting pregnant and my channel switched a lot to like a more um, mom type channel but after now that Ayla's been born I'm trying to kind of make some videos about some other stuff that I enjoy doing and I thought it would be fun to do a planner or a cricket video so that's what I did today however I'm not that good at it yet so bear with me um so right now what I did got my vinyl my HTV loaded into my machine and I've reversed I mirrored on and I reversed my text to backward I'm actually putting it to this side of my mat because that's where my vinyl is and I am going to hit continue it's going to come up and ask me what I'm cutting on my obviously you guys could probably tell but my internet is a very slow here so it takes me a little bit to get this to pop up and glitter iron on is the first one here so I'm gonna click it and it's gonna say ready to go and so it flashes on this side and I hit go so it'll start cutting out my design hopefully everything sticks down just fine like I said my mat's not very sticky so sometimes it tries to peel up in the middle of a cut and that doesn't work very well because then your cut doesn't stay in line so So my yellow cut out and I just cut the strip out and I'm going to go in and try to weed it. Glitter is a lot harder to weed for me because it's harder to see but if you crinkle it like this and kind of like move it like this a little bit you can kind of see the lines better um, but once you get it weeded obviously you'll be able to see it a lot more. Um, I actually have a big pretty good sized chunk here at the end that I want to save. So let me find where my period is and then I'm gonna cut after that and after here. I don't wanna cut any of the words, it's hard. So that's what I mean, I like by scraps. I try to keep all my scraps. Oh, I guess on this one, you can see on the back better than you can on the front. And the end still did that same thing with the glitter, so it must be the font. But I do like the font, so I don't want to change it. I find a lot of my fonts on dafont.com. If you are looking for fonts, I would use it. Um, it's a free font downloading uh, website, and you can find all kinds of different fonts. There's fonts from all, everything from, like, um, 
regular everyday fonts to like a more um more fancy or script fonts they have everything so go in there what i usually do is i go into the search bar and i search like say that i am looking for a font that i want to look like oh if i want something for maybe a, a volleyball poster or something and I just want to see, like, what do they have that might work for volleyball? I might actually type in volleyball and see. They usually have some wingding fonts that have, like, little um, actual icons, I guess, that would have, like, volleyballs and whatever else. And then there is some fonts that maybe would be like a normal like a varsity font that would be like a block lettering that would be on like a letter jacket or sorry I just said that would be like 12 times my bad but either way I'm trying to make sure I get all the little pieces of vinyl up so that I don't have any weird vinyl pieces in any of the wrong spots and it looks like I think I got all the pieces weeded. Nevertheless, she persisted. So I'm going to cut it between in the words so that I can lay them where I want them. Now I'm going to have a, a black copy of this for maybe a sign or something. Who knows what I'm going to do with it. So then I can just set them on. I actually think I'm going to like that better. Um than the yellow because then the sunflowers will pop out more this probably won't stay on very well but I can like mess them with them and move them around and kind of figure out what I want to do with that I don't know something like that and I'm gonna attempt what it. What I did is I turned my iron to the lowest setting possible and I put some wax paper between and I just kind of held the iron on each spot for, um, I don't know, 20 seconds. I was being very careful because I don't want to burn my cap up. Um, and I'm going to attempt to um, peel them off now and see if they stuck. So if not, yep, it looks like it did. But I'm going to carefully do this so I don't pull up any of the edges. Perfect. So that worked way smoother than I was anticipating. This one doesn't look like it's stuck all the way. So I'm going to do the bottom one a little bit longer. So I'm just going to find the area I want and just hold down. One, two, three, four, five. And let's see. Nope, it still doesn't look like it's on there all the way. Let's see if I can move. Sorry, you're getting a rough view of my gut there, but <laughs> I'm gonna attempt one more time to just maybe run my iron over it. I really don't wanna burn up so I just wonder if it's just this bottom of this s that's not sticking very well I'm gonna try to pull it up from the opposite side right here okay and that worked so it's on there God, I hope I spelled everything right. That's what I always worry about after. But I feel like this is going to stick way better than if I would have done the cardstock on top. Um, I have heard, though, that people like to do the cardstock so that they don't accidentally mess up their cap, which I totally understand that. So um, other than that, it worked, and I feel like it looks pretty good. Nice and yellow on that black. And I still have the glitter aspect 
the end see, of the sunlight, maybe. you can see a little bit better. Um, I don't think my she persisted is very straight, but it is what it is. So I'm not like super, super picky about that kind of thing. And um, I obviously can't change it now. So no reason to be mad about it. So I'm going to probably put a hold on this and I might continue tonight when I have some more hot glue to put some flowers on and do some stuff like that. Guys, I so. never came back to this video, so I'm finishing it up now. Um, the cap is finished and graduation is over, but I'm going to go through and show you what exactly I ended up doing. So you guys saw when I put on my vinyl, this is just an HTV vinyl on top of the cap. I ironed it on on the lowest setting and I just did a couple seconds at a time and tested it to see how long it took. Um, and it took a little more than I expected, but it didn't cause any damage to the cap at all. So I was happy about that. These were the next thing I put on. These are little pearls and they're like half pearls. So they were already cut in half so that they would be flat. And that was nice for, um, for the cap because then they set right down flat and I didn't have any issues. I bought these at Dollar General and I ended up having to use like three or four packs of them. <coughs> Sorry. They were a dollar a piece for a pack. So I spent like three or four dollars just to get these um, jewels around the edges, the d pearls. And I really like the pearly look rather than diamonds, but you could do diamonds if you wanted. Um, so I used the, you guys saw the flower crown I did. It's not on here right this second, but I did just, um, basically I just got a, um, it's like a wreath or a fireplace piece I don't know what they call them specifically um but it was already like a big long strand of sunflowers with the like leaves in in them and I just cut a spot a piece off about the size I needed it and I just kind of wrapped it around I didn't actually glue it on here at all and I didn't actually like attach it together I kind of just wrapped it around at the end so that it would stay kind of like in a circle around and then I just slid it on top of my cap and it turned out really cute and then on the parts that I wasn't using that were extra I popped off those sunflowers and I just hot glued um, sunflowers on where I thought that they looked cute so um, a lot of people do like one half flowers and then their words on the other half I don't know I just um, liked my words big in the middle so I ended up just doing a couple sunflowers on each corner and I honestly I just think it turned out very cute I love it and I will um, insert a picture of me with the flower crown and everything on it on graduation day so you guys can see how it turned out um, with the flower crown. So thank you guys for stopping by. Leave a comment down below if you used any of my suggestions in here to do a grad cap for your graduation. I would love to see them. You can send me a direct message on any of my social media or leave a comment down below letting me know that you did that. And I will catch you guys in my next video.